Alright, so here's another tutorial. This is in case you get any error while you're doing the IMEI uh, number change. So over here I'm just going to create an error. So when it tells me to choose a firmware, I'm just gonna cancel. And now my phone is stuck uh, saying no application linked and in brackets it says factory OS. Uh, now what happened is pretty much the phone has nothing on it and this in er any type of error on BlackBerry you can fix it using this way so technically you can't even do anything from here unless you gotta start the whole thing all over again but let's say there's an error where you can't even use this tool to do it so we're gonna close it and we're going to see what's the best thing to do uh, Google is your best source over here and um, I'm just gonna unplug my BlackBerry and turn it on. Unplug it back to the computer. And in Google, just type, let's say over here it's Rogers Network, is my phone. Uh, my phone is under the Rogers Network. So what I'm gonna search for is BlackBerry Rogers firmware. And the first one that comes up software and you notice it's from blackberry.com click it and you select which one you want so mine is 8300 next and there you go you get to download it and sometimes it'll ask you for all this information you gotta enter so whether it's real or not it's your uh, your choice obviously and you click download so when it downloads this is what you get we're going to go ahead and run it Okay. Okay, so after it's done loading, this will pop up. You just click next. Uh, yours will be installed. Mine is just repair because I already have it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Next install so I'll just resume when this is done okay so after it's done you cl make sure you click this and yes I want to start the application loader and click finish if you don't get that screen simply uninstall uh, this this thing again and install it again and it will come so anyways this is the application loader click next and just click next again and it automatically detected my blackberry and it booted it okay so simply just select what you want i'm gonna select english and maps uh, blackberry messenger brick break break breaker password Keeper, memo pad, and uh, tasks, and that's it. And click next, finish. Now it's just gonna load your BlackBerry back to normal, and everything is going to be okay. And your new IMEI number that you've set up will be there, the new one. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Riz from www.furiousgold.com. See ya.